they don't care. I, unfortunately, they don't care. You know, watching the news and stuff and hearing them say, you know, how sad it is that GM don't care for their employees. It's true. It's, it's a business. We're numbers. It doesn't matter. All the bags and please for this community, it's not going to make a difference. Everybody's in shock. I mean, they're they're trying to figure out what to do with their future. Should they possibly move out of the area now? Should they wait and see what negotiations bring next summer with between GM and the UAW? So I mean, there's a lot of uncertainty. Plus, with the holidays coming up, it's you know it's a hard thing to come into work and be told that you know next March nobody knows what's going to happen as far as your job. All total, we have about 1,500 people that are union members that will be affected by the closing. And it's not just a, a Democrat or Republican or an independent issue. I mean, it's, it's a manufacturing job. It's an American worker issue. Back then, we had Republic Steel, we had uh, Copper Weld, we had Ween, we had GTXX, we had all these fab fabrication business around here. You could go out and get a job that could support a family. But now, it's not like that. You get out of school and they say if you have college, but now even college don't help you. So, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. It's, it's a really scary situation. I just hope Trump does something and brings all this stuff back, or at least makes a nice goodwill on something to get it back. They know years in advance what they're going to do, what products are going where. It's not something that I think anybody can really make a difference now. Like I said, I, I think it's amazing this community and what they've done and listening to the governor and listening to everybody and fighting for the stuff, but I just, I, I don't see them getting another product here.